How would you describe, especially as somebody who like is not uh, part of the art world? <laughs> I'm like, I can look at your work and know it's you. Uh, you know, it's like, what, how would you describe your work, inspiration behind it, to uh, just a, a layman? <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> and, well, visual aid wise, this uh -huh. is kind of a limited display. Uh -huh. And these are all kind of somewhat connected and consistent. But bold, flat color with um, geometric shapes that are playful um, and yeah, I don't know. I always yeah. <laughs> prefer someone else to describe things, but I think I'm doing okay. Yes, <laughs> yes. How long did it take you to develop like your style? Like is this something that, you know, I mean you even mentioned like maybe in grad school you would have felt like pieces of it or what? Right, yeah. I mean there's, you can look at work from undergrad uh -huh. and make a through line. Okay. But it was definitely more linear and character and lettering based mm. initially. And then I kind of, what if I don't put a silly phrase next to this thing? Yeah. And what if I don't put googly eyes on mm. a shape? Yeah. Does it feel, it's still playful. Yeah. But does it feel slightly more sophisticated or elevated was kind of the strategy there. Yeah. And then repeated forms and developing a language and how they interact and they can take on different meaning for different projects uh, and different pieces. Uh, they, whether you simply as changing the color or the juxtaposition of one shape next to the other, mm. you start like a half circle could be the moon or a watermelon slice mm. or, you know, yeah. Or a D. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or D. You know, it's like, like right. it depends on where that goes. And with painting specifically, since that's what's behind us, is now the language is typically the title. Yeah. Whether that's an obscure song reference that mm -hmm. I feel like fits the piece, or just a silly joke where uh, the one up here that you can't see up is Triple D. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Diners, drive ins, and dives. Okay. It's like that's arbitrarily made up afterwards because I just compositionally came up with that, and then I'm like, Oh, it just happens to be right. the guy Fury, and that's funny in his hair yeah. and glasses. And we make fun of this guy all the time, but he's like really solid human. It's, yeah. it's unfair. <laughs> it's not right. Like, there's so many other people we should be attacking, <laughs> but he just wants to show you it's a awesome. great place to have a meal that's like local and yeah. I love that. <laughs> that's so good.